Thanks for joining us at Macarium. Let's build something unforgettable together. In this video, the creator walks us through the process of building and customizing a 1 14th scale Tamiya RC model of the Scania 770S truck, which was released in 2023. After the plastic parts are carefully prepared, mold lines sanded, and surfaces smoothed, a black primer is applied to block light from passing through the plastic. Then comes the paint, a base coat of glossy black followed by deep black mixed with a retarder to boost the shine. To create a metallic effect on certain parts of the car, a glossy black base is first applied to add depth, followed by a rich, dark, stainless silver coat. The build starts with constructing the truck's chassis. This involves connecting the two long aluminum side rails using plastic cross members to create a rigid ladder frame. Some areas need to be painted, but before starting, masking tape is carefully applied to cover and protect the sections that should remain untouched. This ensures clean, sharp edges and prevents any accidental paint from reaching unwanted spots, helping to achieve a precise and professional finish. All the parts that need painting are first primed with a basic coat to ensure good paint adhesion and a smooth finish. After the primer has dried, the painting process begins. The rims, seats, and cabin are carefully painted in a deep military green, giving them a rich, solid color. Meanwhile, the other parts receive a coat of stainless silver paint, providing a metallic finish. Once the paint has fully dried, a gloss coat is applied over all painted surfaces. This clear layer protects the paint underneath and gives the model a polished, professional shine. The tires are carefully fitted onto the rims, ensuring they sit evenly and snugly without any twists or gaps. Then bolts are screwed onto the rims so they're ready to be attached to the axle hubs. The clay roof bars are first attached to the cab shell using a strong adhesive. The adhesive is applied evenly, with attention given to avoid any excess. The roof air deflector is positioned on top of the cabin, not only enhancing the realistic appearance of the truck, but also reflecting the aerodynamic design of the full-sized Scania 770S. The lower bumper skirt also adds depth and realism to the truck's front end, completing the distinctive Scania look. The cab side extenders are aerodynamic components designed to reduce air resistance and improve fuel efficiency by streamlining airflow around the cab and trailer gap. On the model, they are assembled and positioned along the side and rear sections of the cab with equal spacing and parallel alignment. The side windows are carefully inserted, aligning precisely with the window frames to ensure a perfect fit. The mirrors are mounted on both sides of the cab and adjusted to sit at the correct angle. Next, the windshield is positioned to sit flush against the front opening of the cab. Chassis assembly starts with preparing the main frame components. 
The two long aluminum side rails are placed parallel to each other on a flat work surface. Cross members are then attached to connect the rails, keeping the frame straight and rigid. The next step is the installation of the rigid axles. These axles are mounted onto the frame at designated mounting points, ensuring proper alignment and spacing. It's important that each axle sits squarely and level, as this directly affects the stability and performance of the model. If you're still watching and enjoying the build, don't forget to like the video and subscribe. That's the best way to support what we're doing here. Leaf springs, the components of the suspension system, are mounted. They are responsible for absorbing shocks and vibrations from the road surface helping to support the weight of the vehicle and maintain stability during movement. Shock absorbers are designed to dampen the oscillations of the springs and control the movement of the suspension, providing stability and a smoother ride for the RC truck, especially over uneven terrain. Leaf springs are mounted in the rear part too. This step is crucial for achieving a smooth, functional rear suspension that can handle the weight of the model and provide a realistic ride. The steering assembly is a crucial part of the RC truck, enabling realistic control over the direction of the front wheels. This system is made up of several key components, the steering servo, providing the motorized movement, the servo horn, connecting the servo to the steering mechanism. Also, the steering linkage rods that transmit motion, the steering knuckles that allow the wheels to pivot, and the front suspension parts that support and stabilize the assembly. Differential gears let the wheels on the same axle rotate at different speeds, which is crucial when the truck is turning. To assemble the differential, the gears are carefully positioned inside the housing, making sure they mesh smoothly with one another. The assembly consists of the ring gear, pinion gear, and smaller spider gears, which work together to evenly distribute power while allowing the wheels to rotate at different speeds. Proper lubrication is applied to minimize friction and prevent wear. Differential shafts, also known as axle shafts or drive shafts, connect the differential gears to the wheels, transmitting power from the differential to the wheels to enable movement. The differential shafts transmit the engine's rotational force, which is distributed by the differential gears to the wheels. They also allow each wheel to spin at different speeds when the vehicle is turning. The differential housing is a key component of the axle assembly of the RC Scania truck. This part connects power from the transmission to the wheels, enabling realistic drivetrain function and handling in the model. The drive shaft, attached to the output of the gearbox, acts as the main link, transmitting rotational power generated by the motor and modulated by the gearbox to the differential.
Shock absorbers are also installed in the rear, helping provide better control and a more realistic driving experience, especially when driving over rough or off-road terrain. Each gear shaft is carefully aligned with its corresponding holes or slots on the gearbox plate. The gears are then slid onto the shafts in the correct order, making sure each gear meshes properly with adjacent gears to ensure smooth operation. The gear shafts hold the gears in place and allow them to rotate smoothly within the gearbox transmitting power efficiently from the motor to the drive shaft. The shafts should be secured firmly to the gearbox plate with screws or retaining pins, preventing any unwanted movement or slipping during use. Proper alignment and secure attachment are essential to avoid gear misalignment, which can cause noise, wear, or drivetrain failure. After successful testing, the gearbox assembly is enclosed in a sturdy casing that protects the internal gears and components from dust, debris, and damage. This casing also keeps the gears properly aligned and lubricated, ensuring smooth and efficient operation. If you've made it this far into the video, thank you so much. You're one of our most loyal viewers and we truly appreciate it. We'll do our best to live up to your expectations in the next video as well. Please give this video a like and consider subscribing to the channel. You have no idea how much that means to us. Thank you. Assembling the taillights is a key step that adds both realism and functional detail to the RC truck. Red lenses are fitted into the housings along with the wiring, which will be routed through the chassis to connect to the power source. The fenders are aligned above the axles, helping protect nearby components from debris, dirt, and water. The coupler enables the truck to tow a trailer and provides a pivot point for smooth turning. It also plays a role in distributing some of the trailer's weight onto the truck's rear axles, just like on a full-size Scania. The servo motor provides controlled movement for steering or shifting gears in multi-speed transmissions. It receives signals from the remote control, converting them into rotational motion to operate mechanical linkages. Next, the wheel nuts are tightened to ensure the wheels are firmly attached, but not so tight that it damages the threads. Then, LED lights serving as blinkers are installed on the front wheel fenders and connected with wiring. The sun visor will be aligned and mounted above the windshield on the cab's roof. Like on a real truck, it helps reduce sunlight glare improving driver visibility and comfort. This model is equipped with small lights integrated into the visor, adding both visibility and style. The headlights are installed into the roof, providing functional illumination for nighttime or low light operation. Next, the roof hatch is positioned and aligned with the molded frame, serving as both an emergency exit 
and a source of ventilation for the cab. In the model, while non-functional, it replicates this important detail. The LED lights are tested using an LED tester to ensure they power on correctly, shine at the proper brightness, and are free from flickering or wiring issues. On real trucks, the lift axle can be raised or lowered based on the load. It lowers under heavy loads to improve weight distribution and stability, and lifts when lightly loaded to reduce rolling resistance and tire wear. In this model, it adds to the realism of a scale-accurate build. The multifunction control unit is a central component that coordinates the complex interplay of lights, sound, vibration, and motor control in the RC Scania. Designed to enhance realism, it enables the model to simulate a wide range of operational features, bringing the experience closer to that of a real truck. This model enhances its realism with working features like the multi-function control unit, which synchronizes lights, sounds, and vibrations, as well as movable parts such as the lift axle, steering assembly, and tilting cab. After the multi-function control unit passes the final test successfully, the rear view mirrors are mounted to help reduce blind spots around the truck. All the operational feature settings are located behind the cab, where the battery supplies the electrical power to the RC truck. This control panel, part of the multi-function control unit, features switches for key functions. Power on-off controls the main power. Hazard winker activates the hazard lights and select SW cycles through different modes like light patterns, sounds, or settings. The 114th scale Tamiya RC model of the Scania 770S truck is a masterful blend of intricate detail and functional engineering, achieving an impressive level of realism. This model gives enthusiasts a hands-on connection to the mechanics, and aesthetics of one of the world's most iconic trucks, making it more than just a scale replica, but a truly immersive experience. Enjoyed the project? Be sure to subscribe and stay tuned. Don't miss any of the exciting content we have coming up.